So it, it, there's an inevitable uh, sit down with protectees across the Secret Service spectrum uh, about open air events. This is going to happen. I, I guarantee you. The question I can't I can't answer right now is whether each protectee is going to go with the program. In other words, mm -hmm. will Donald Trump, if encouraged by the Secret Service, to stop golfing? Um, or to change golf courses or do something, you know, that's far more protected. Will he abide by that? I think in these remaining weeks, I would take the advice of security professionals, whatever they say, but we're already living in a society where our nominees, our vice presidential nominees are speaking from behind bullet resistant glass at open air rallies. How far can this go? How far can we fund, if at all, the Secret Service to put numerous drones up to see an aerial shot of golf courses, concerts, rallies? Um, is this going to become the norm? Where is the perimeter? Because the more you move a perimeter out, uh, we're already hearing that this shooter was on the fence line or, or behind the fence line of, golf, of the golf course. Where do you put your perimeter? How many agents, how many police officers Will you need, do you need an entire, you know, square acre? Do you need miles of perimeter? These are questions that almost can't be answered because they're, they're cost prohibitive and resource prohibitive. Frank Figluzzi, thank you very much for being with us this evening.